Okay, tubers. I realise this is going to be a bit hard to see, but I hope you can. I hope you got everything in. I just thought I'd do a quick update video in um, in response to the, the the awesome replies and help and I guess the community spirit that's come together on this whole battery resistance thing. Now I have learnt something. It does seem to be more important than I ever considered it to be. I have done heaps and heaps of testing. Obviously, I just didn't find one that was faulty which I guess is a good thing and um, so I just want to I know these these three cells have issues these are the most issues of any cells I've got so I'm going to continue with these three cells so it is about 32 odd hours since I last charged those cells um, completed all my tests and stuff yesterday so Think you can see uh, you can see that okay now this one was the one with 472 ohms of resistance milliohms of resistance and it has dropped to 3.86 volts and it was 4.14 volts yesterday so clearly self discharging um, low amp hour rate and high internal resistance now this one's got uh, 295 and that's got 4.1 volts. This one had 300, uh, 234 milliohms and this is 4.21. So that is a high resistance with a high amp hour reading with a good voltage or perfect voltage as the case may be a little bit less voltage a little bit less resistant a little bit less capacity and a little bit higher resistance uh, that's not working and four and four 27 on that one so clearly the higher the resistance the faster the um the self discharge in this particular test what i'm going to do now is everyone was saying you should test the internal resistance at less than full voltage but what i'm going to do is i'm going to test the resistance as it sits i think it's a much more relevant test and well i don't have to discharge it and worry about messing around okay so that one is now i'm going to hold it consistently like i was doing it yesterday battery resistance check battery that's 319 see that doesn't make any sense can you see that you can see that 319 milliohms right there on the screen let's try that again no battery found okay because it's not making a very good contact unfortunately Three hundred and four. The three hundred and four. Two ninety eight. Two ninety seven. Two ninety six. So we're going to say 300. So that's dropped from 472 to 300. There you go. I should use a different color pen, but unfortunately I don't have a different color Sharpie. Okay, so this one had 295. Now it's got 220. Two hundred and twenty eight, two hundred and twelve, two hundred and eighteen, and I'm not varying the pressure on this battery, I'm holding it very consistently. Two hundred and seven, so that's we're going to call that two hundred and ten. Ready? Right so the internal resistance of both of those batteries is reduced with the, the capacity. Now, theory says that this cell hasn't dropped in capacity. So we should get 234-ish milliohms as a reading. 
Yeah. It would help if I hold it on properly. And it just got solder dobs on both of these ends, so I have to hold it on there. Hold it with consistent pressure so it's fine. A hundred and forty nine. One fifty five. One fifty six. One sixty. Now this is what I was saying about the inconsistent test results. I did the result I did the test the same yesterday, I held it with two fingers with even pressure, and now we've got 160 milliohms, so it's gone down 90. Yet the the voltage hasn't changed. Now this is what drives me nuts about this test. Is it that device that's causing a difference? Is it the way I'm holding it on there? Is it the temperature in the workshop? Is it is it the fact that a plane just flew over? I don't know. But there's, there, this is what I was saying about the inconsistency of the results and why I didn't trust it in the first place. It's got to be that. It's got to be that device. So that concludes this little test. Uh, I don't know if it was a test or me talking aloud, but. Seems to be what I do lately, lots of talking aloud because I'm not making much progress on anything else. So I'll leave it at that YouTube. I am going to resistance test and voltage test all those batteries I've just processed. I've still got all those to do as well. And all those. But I'm going to do that now and I shall do exactly the same test with those cells tomorrow. And let's see where we end up. And what's the time? Where's my phone? Ah, my phone's there. I'm recording with it. The time is about 10 o'clock in the morning, so I'll try and repeat the same test tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Cheers, YouTube, and if you like these videos, please like, rate, and subscribe.